Through art, I kind of let myself free of being paralyzed. And when I'm painting, I feel I don't feel paralyzed. I'm doing something so much more normal, and uh, it's uh, great to be able to share my love and zest for life through my art. I get to touch other people too. So half the fun of my art is being able to share it with others. Uh, aloha, good afternoon. My name is Moses Hamilton. My friends also call me Mo, so I go by the name Mo. I mean, my art since my accident has has been my doorway to release and creativity and give me focus. I mean, through my art, I, I still have a connection to the physical world. Uh, I was born on the north shore of Kauai here on the island. I am uh, 39 of uh, just a few weeks ago. I just turned 39. Well, since my accident, when I started painting, uh, I really like to do a lot of my island themes, you know, the beaches, the waterfalls, but also the people of the islands, the, the Paniolas, the Hawaiians, and the other ethnic groups of the islands are some of my favorite things to paint. And I also have a real love for music, so I, I love doing musical scenes, musicians and people uh, enjoying music. So I, I find inspiration all around me and I actually have a little list of things I love to paint. And it's, it's just a constantly kind of opening your eyes to the beauty around you and looking for those perfect places, those perfect moments where the magic all seems together, you know? Being at the uh, beach when a perfect sunset comes together and a perfect wave throws, rolls through and those moments of just, you know, the miracle of life, you know? Life is always about kind of, for me, uh, making the best of the cards you're dealt. So I, I really had to, you know, I embrace art, embrace my physical, I mean, my mental aspects, and even though I took some physical losses. And uh, also I just realized how big and special life is, having almost lost my life. Uh, you know, I, I've really tried to smile. I always say smile today because tomorrow's not insured. I, I've, it's made me, uh, in some ways, more appreciative of the moments I've had. And, you know, there's, everyone struggles, but the struggles are a test of how strong we can be. And through the struggles, sometimes they can lead to the, the strongest of beings. You know, the, the ultimate test leads to the ultimate challenge, which might lead to the ultimate you. Sometimes forget, people forget just to look inside for the happiness of being alive and blessed to be able to breathe and have food at night, you know. So happiness can be easier found than people think, you know. And one of the things I think too is to look inside for happiness. We're, all, we're all such outward beings and there's so much going on in our culture and we're kind of overrun by commercials on what makes us happy and, you know, all this input of what, what, you, what should make you happy. But I think the real happiness is in your heart and you gotta start with the little things. You know, being able to breathe, be able to eat at night, it's easy to be happy if you look inside your heart and just look at the beauty of the world around you and the miracle that it is and to be part of that miracle and then have a mind to kind of connect you to it all and to travel through it. Through the use of my mind, I've overcome the mountain set in front of me, and, you know. So it's, am it's amazing what we can do when we put our mind to it. It might be tough today, but tomorrow will be better. I think, you know, life is always ups and downs, so you gotta, you know, I always say if you got hitting some bumps in the road today, maybe you'll find rainbows tomorrow. So you gotta persevere, you gotta push through the next day, and you know, uh, try to find the still moments in your mind. Try to enjoy what you do have. Don't focus on what you don't have. Focus on what you do have. You have the ability to think, you have the ability to talk, you have the ability to you know, eat. The littlest things in life can be the biggest things. Make sure to enjoy just the simple things. Be able to go out and watch the rainbows or watch butterflies dance in the yard. The, the simplest things can be the purest. So you know, try to just love life while you got it too, you know? Smile today because tomorrow might be gone, so just try to make the best of it, you know? And limit it out of limits. It might not always be easy, but you, you can make sweet things out of sour starts. I just want to let the people of the world know if you're ever on the island of Kauai and would like to meet me or see me painting, you can often find me in the heart of Hanolei painting at the Ching Young Shopping Village on the North Shore. Come and meet me and see some of my uh, art in action. Thank you very much.